My Little Pony Season 9 Episode 5 Point of No Return, I believe it's called. Yes, The Points of No Return. Sorry, Season 9 Episode 5. Let's give it a watch. I haven't seen this before. It's going to be a completely raw review, reaction, whatever you want to call it. Uh, hopefully you enjoy it. Hopefully I'll enjoy it. I've, I've, I, fortunately, I don't get a lot of people spoiling things. I've heard some people say, oh, new episode's out, but then I make sure I cut that off quick. So let's see what it's like. Hopefully it's good. I, I'm sure it's good. Right. Oh. <laughs> it's a lot of mail. Twilight! Mail's here! <laughs> oh, poor Derpy. Are you all right? We just had a really heavy delivery today. Wait. Her eyes. Is it a deluxe set of special edition Ogres and Nubliats figurines that I'm totally surprised by and haven't been hinting that I need forever? Well, it's for Twilight. Oh. Oh. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Huh. It's from Princess Celestia. She's cute. Oh. Oh, so is this. Really? She couldn't have put it into the box? Yeah. My dearest Twilight, I have been conducting a thorough cleaning of the castle, and I came across a, a few items cleaning. of yours in your old room. I thought you might want them back. I didn't even know I'd left anything. This is kind of cool. Ah, look! Remember this? It's the macaroni picture frame Cadence helped me make when I was a filly. Okay. Uh. Who could forget a masterpiece like that? <laughs> my G1 Star Swirl figure! And G1. some of my favorite school scrolls! And here's my extra, extra credit report on the impediments of using magic in everyday chores. Is my Smash Fortune comic in there? I've been looking for that for years. <laughs> Hold this. Oh no, oh no, oh no! What's wrong? It just looks like an old library book. Exactly! It belongs to the Canterlot Library. That means it's... Overdue. You bought it. Most places in libraries, if you keep a book out long enough, you pretty much just buy it. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic so, yeah. makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you are my very best friend? I wonder if she's watching this. You don't understand, Spike. I have a perfect library book return record. <clears throat> Had a perfect record. Some, 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 some. Oh, I've never turned in a book even a minute late. Wow. And this one has been overdue since I she left time her travel. ponyville. Bring it back. Uh, imagination again. Make sure you bring this one back on time. We've got a long waiting list of ponies who can't wait to read it. I promise I won't let you down. Oh, of course you won't, dear. If there's any pony I can trust to take care of a book, oh, it's no. you, Twilight Sparkle. She After all, books. you still hold the best book borrower title. Oh, I hope I do forever! Blushing. Spike! Quick, find me that old copy of Predictions and Prophecies. What's that for? Well, it was a gift for Moondancer, but... episode one. Oh, Spike, you know we don't have time for that sort of thing. And then Celestia sent me to Ponyville and I forgot all about this. Yeah. Dusty Pages prided herself that no books were damaged or lost on her watch. And I failed her. I failed myself. Time I travel, we're going it. to Canterlot. <sighs> the sooner the better, I guess. You can tell like, he's used to this now. You're like, ah, okay. Before we're like, do I? <gasps> like, huh? Uh, why are we hiding? Don't yeah. you want to return your book? Yes, but 
But what if some pony sees me in there? I'm the princess of friendship. Everywhere I go, ponies recognize me. I'll stick out like a sore hoof. Princess Twilight Sparkle in a library? Stop the presses! <laughs> a late book is a big deal, Spike. What if Dusty Pages revokes my library card? Aww. Or bans me from ever entering the building again? I like how it just sinks. Don't you already have most of those books in your collection at home? Yes, but the ones in there have a special Canterlot library e smell. You sniff books? You don't? <laughs> I used to live like, in a library. If I'm not a good example of proper book borrowing behavior, then what kind of princess am I? Behavior. One that makes mistakes like every pony else. Trust me. Yes. Once you return that book, you'll feel way better. Thanks, Spike. But now that Let's go. Ah! <laughs> okay, ignore everyone. <laughs> Just ring it for them. Oh. <gasps> really? <clears throat> I have a book to return. Princess Twilight? So good to see you. It didn't work. <sighs> Need some recommendations from the new release section? <gasps> Is that the new edition of Moon Curve 7 Theories on Bending Time? I have been waiting for the release and... Uh, I mean, uh, no books today. <laughs> Thanks. <gasps> yeah. But I do need to speak with Dusty Pages about a... <clears throat> sensitive matter. Sensitive. Dusty who? <laughs> uh -oh. Dusty Pages? The head librarian? She's worked here forever. Sorry, Princess, I don't know her. Now, was there some other way I can help the library's best book borrower? Wow. <laughs> Just ask her where to return an overdue book. It's no big deal. It happens all the time. Not to me, it doesn't. <sighs> fine. Fine! Oh, no. I didn't even think about the late fine. A book out this long will probably cost a thousand bits. No. She, I mean, we have an overdue book. Oh, well, that's no problem at all. In fact, it happens all the time. See? What's the reason? I'll just find it in the card catalog. Uh, number 18905, got it. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeesh. I haven't seen a book this late in, well, ever. <clears throat> You need to go and see First Folio in the grossly overdue book return office for ponies who should know better. Don't pull any punches with those names, do you? And that office would be? In the basement. Because of the shame. <laughs> <laughs> A little three theatrical there. The shame. Whoa. Ugh. Looks like no pony ever goes down here. No pony except undependable rule breakers who deserve all the horrors this hallway mm. holds. And their faithful dragon companions. Mm. Uh, hey, it looks like First Folio left a note on the door. Abandon hope all ye who enter. <laughs> Out to lunch on Restaurant Row. Oh. Guess we'll have to try back later. No, I can't wait another minute to return this book. In the time it took us to get there, I racked up another... 17 bits in late fees! We're going to lunch. Good, because I'm starving. Oh, he means a fine first folio. Can we at least get takeout? Tell me oh. if you see any librarian type ponies. Twilight, we tried this at three other restaurants already. And my late finds are already up another 26 more bits. She's <laughs> Writer, down. we're ready to order. Oh, uh, I'm not actually... Three samosas, two curry specials. Do you think that's enough for the two of us? Hmm. Well, I would probably order some naan as well. For the table? Sounds great. <laughs> Twilight, is that you? Moon Dancer, uh, uh... how have you been? I'm just visiting. No real reason. <laughs> well, it's good to see you. I'm just meeting my friend, First Folio, for lunch. Do you want to join us? First Folio, First Folio yes! I mean, thank you. Princess Twilight, good to meet you. Did you know oh, your yes. picture is still up in our library as the best book borrower? Yeah, I was hoping I could talk to Dusty Pages about that. Oh, Dusty Pages left the library moons ago. Didn't you know? Mm-mm. Oh, I heard she was forced to leave. 
It's so sad. She loved the library. Wait, forced to leave? Uh -huh, uh -huh, yeah. She had a perfect librarian yeah, record okay. until one careless pony didn't return a book oh, no. ruined at all. Are you okay, Twilight? Uh huh. Would uh, you excuse me? That's why you only order spicy if you can take it. <laughs> Twilight, what's wrong? Dusty Pages isn't Here's working at the library anymore because I didn't return this book. Like, well, I'm not aware, I think but... I got her fired. Twilight, the library is that way. Hmm. Change of plans. We're going to Dusty's house. She used to invite me over for tea all the time. But what about your late fees? They're not as important as making things right. Wait, so you're not going to return the book? No, Dusty Pages is. It's my fault she lost her job. So if I give her the book, she can get her old job back. It'll fix everything. Ooh. Didn't you see the sign? No sales ponies. Oh, I'm not selling anything. No carolers either. No surveys, no petitions, no free literature. No solicitations. No problem. I'm just looking for some pony who used to live here. I'm pretty sure this was her house. Dusty Pages? Yes! Hold on. <laughs> she moved to Silver something. Shoals, seas, surfer, whatever. When you find her, give her this. Ooh. It's been stacking up for years. And tell her to change her address. All this now she's on a pro trip. See some places around. See some other parts of uh, Crestria that we don't know to see. Silver Stable Community for the best golden years. This has to uh, be it. Home. I hope so. It's the last silver spot on the map we haven't looked. This is terrible, I know. There's not a single bookshelf in sight. Poor Dusty. Excuse me. Yes, how may I help you? Do you have a resident named Dusty Pages? Oh, yes. Her apartment is in the next complex, ground floor. Thank you. Oh, she was. I can't believe that my carelessness sent her here when she could be happily surrounded by millions uh, of wonderful smelling books. Uh, you realize that might just be a oh. you thing, right? <gasps> there books. she is. Here hey. we go. I'll save it till later. Hmm? Yep. She's bound to be back soon. Maybe we should just wait here. No, we are fixing this now. This place isn't that big. We can find her. Have you tried knocking again? Sorry to interrupt your plein air painting, but we're looking for dusty pages. Have you seen her? Sure have. And... She had to leave early to get to her Bungby the tea session. Which is right before she leads the woodworking class with me. And then she's on to windsurfing. Oh, and don't forget theater rehearsal. Oh. Justy's playing the lead role again. And then there's her band practice later. Thank you. They're wow, busy. Dusty sounds like one busy pony. Oh, 
She's just filling her days with distractions to cover the pain of losing the best job ever. Okay, but not for long. <laughs> Even Spike like. This episode's actually very oddly relevant. Very nice little guy. Wow, just fast. I was like, Dusty Jammin. pages, finally! Come on, Spike. Wait, she looks pretty happy up there. Trust me, it's all an act. She'll be a lot happier when I deliver the good news that she can go back to working at the library. Uh, care to take five, every pony? Oh, Twilight Sparkle, my stars! It's so wonderful to see you. What are you doing here? I've been looking all over Equestria for you. I need to tell you something. Well, you brought my mail. Oh, thank you. <laughs> no, I mean, yes, we did. But that's not why we're here. I let you down, and I can't forgive myself until I set things right. I don't remember you doing anything wrong. You told me to take special care of a book I checked out from the Canterlot Library, and I never brought it back. <gasps> it was you that had that book out? The one that broke my perfect record? Oh. But now you can bring it to Canterlot Library and get your job back. No, thank you. I don't ever need to see that library again. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have somewhere to be. Hmm. Somehow, I don't think it's what she thinks it is. Do you mind? <laughs> I don't understand. If Dusty Pages won't go back to Canterlot Library and explain everything, then she won't be able to get her job back. Even worse, her record will remain imperfect. And yours will, too? Well, yeah, but that doesn't matter anymore. Really? Well, maybe a little bit. <laughs> oh, no, bitch! The late finds! How much do I owe now? You don't know how to use that. Uh, you don't want to know. Uh, it would have been worth all the bits in Equestria if I'd made things right with Dusty. I wish I knew why she won't go back. Why don't you ask her? Because she she's didn't retired. seem to want to talk. But you surprised her. And she probably had something else on her schedule. That thing is Pat. Come on. What have you got to lose? Now that I've messed up this much, nothing. You're right, Spike. It's worth a try. Where do you think she went? Crochet? Bingo? A squishy fruit food fight tournament? <laughs> hey, every pony! We coming! <laughs> uh, pieces. <laughs> Just want to talk to Dusty Pages for a moment, please. Time out. Next time, you should rent gear. We're not actually here for the game. I was hoping you'd give me another chance to talk to you about the library book. <sighs> this really means a lot to you, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. I know I ruined your life by not returning my book on time, and I will do anything I can to make it up to you. Even promise to never take a book out of the library again, Ooh. if that's what it takes. <gasps> <laughs> that is not the reaction we expected. Twilight, dear, you've got it all backwards. I'm not upset with you. You're not? No. If I'm mad at any pony, it's me. Huh? All those years I spent hiding away in that library, trying to be perfect. 
When your book never came in, I felt something exhilarating. What was it? Freedom. From books? From perfection. Mm, I was too stubborn to know when to call it quits. It took your mistake to make me realize I that I wasn't living the life I wanted. All you mean well. you weren't fired? You left the library because you wanted to? Twilight, your late book was so the much. best thing that ever happened to me. Now I'm not afraid to try things I might fail at. In fact, sometimes messing up teaches me more than getting it right. Yes. You're sure you don't want to return it and get that perfect record back? Ah! Oh, good. It was a yellow one. You can still see the words. But it'll have a stain. Well, that doesn't change the truth inside it. Wait, did you even read that thing? Actually, <laughs> uh, no. I guess I didn't. Perfection. And the next part? The impossible pursuit. <laughs> right. Oh, that might have been useful to look at earlier. Your total late fees come to... However much it is, I'll cover it. Uh, do you have a monthly payment plan? 28 bits. <gasps> That's it? Yeah, uh -huh. most ponies don't know it caps at a month. Probably because we don't tell them. <laughs> That's Thank you, actually like your most account libraries. is back to normal. Although, we will be taking down your best book borrower picture. Um... Really necessary. <laughs> it just seems so permanent. <laughs> I mean, I did return the book, after all. <clears throat> okay, letting the perfection go. <sighs> you want me to reshelve this for you? No, it's an old edition. We've already replaced it with a new copy. In that case, can we keep it? It might be a good reminder to have around. You're sure? It's got a stain. That's what makes it perfect. Okay, that was a very interesting episode. It actually uh, really connected to me on a particular level. And it's true what they say, books do have a certain smell. <laughs> well, actually there's different, not that I, I go around smelling books, but okay, there's, there's, I'd say maybe four kinds. There's like the new book smell when you first get a new book. There's the one that's been on the shelf for a little while. It's still fresh, but it's kind of, it's seasoned. There's the weathered and worn that uh, you've read a few times and the spine's broken and it's kind of faded, but still kind of re retains it. And then there's the, the old, old book smell, which you go into any old bookstore, it's prevalent. <laughs> but uh, I digress from the smells uh, because, oh, Twilight and I have that in common. We love books. I actually like hardback and paperback books, not Kindles or ebooks. I mean, don't get me wrong. Having a device that can hold a hundred books is awesome. I love being able to carry all that information on a phone, but there's something There's something different about a book. Oh, if, no, this is just like a, 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 a ledger, not a ledger. Um, a, uh, actually, this is more like a diary book, but just something about having something to hold, a spine, a cover, a feel of it, being able to flip through the pages. And just, it's, I don't know, I've, I've always liked books and, uh, I'd rather have a paperback. In fact, what you see back here, or you may see it soon, is going to be a bookshelf. I'm going to put things on. Hold on, move this over here. Kind of get away. Um, yeah, so I want to put up some of my favorite books in there once I, if I ever get that done, if things kind of settle down here. Yeah, so I can relate to Twilight a lot with this. Uh, <laughs> I've had I've had overdue book fees, and it's true. Most libraries I know that if if it's a certain past due time, you have to pay like uh, it's like basically like cost of the book, which is whatever the, the 
the cost is. So they, they don't keep on racking up charges. At least most libraries I know are like that. <laughs> and I do like how uh, when they went in the restaurant, uh, Spike was like, oh, I'm not I'm not working here. But he just rolled with it, grabbed a little, his, his usual notepad and pencil that he always carries around for Twilight and just started taking orders. And he actually did a good job. He, hey, Spike ever wanted to do a side job as a waiter, he has another source of income if you want to cover all those book fee, late fees that Twilight's not going to rack up. So this was an interesting episode because it's very Twilight specific. And I like how it's connected to the very first episode. This show, like we inspired with this package and everything like that. Like, that's a real good tie in to way, way back in the library. And they actually used a, uh, you know, her friend's librarian friend, which is kind of cool, in the whole basement. So, I had fun with this episode. No, was it like fantastic, like like crazy, wonderful. No, but it was a, it was a very good, wholesome episode with Twilight in it, and I like that because it's very, it's the show. It's how the show should be. So. I'll wrap this up. It was a great episode. You saw my reaction to it. And <laughs> tell you, from the beginning of the series, Spike always acting like everything's a shock and a wonder to like, he's so used to it. Like almost every scene is like, really Twilight? And he ha he's gotten a lot wiser. Like it's very subtle, but it's there. So I like that. He's he's definitely growing in, in his ability to uh, handle Twilight's freakouts and very wise to be able to uh, handle however she deals with certain things and her reactions to things and is able to step away for a second because he's so used to her being being away that initially he would react like, oh, this is something huge, this is something bad. But then you realize that, well, she overreacts a lot. So let me just stop and wait and look back and just kind of let it roll out and see what actually happens. And then he's able to think, usually now more than ever, he's, he's able to think of more rational as like, well, maybe it's this, or maybe maybe it's that. He really is becoming a faith, true faithful companion. And it's helping her out a lot. And she's actually trusting him more on his ability to be able to see through her freakouts, <laughs> her twilight and twilighting. So I like this. So... I'll wrap this up and try to keep it so much where I don't want to spin off too long. But this is a really good episode. I like this. This so far the season's really solid. So I will see you in the next video and hopefully you have a wonderful, beautiful day. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.